we're going to become aware of our own death. Visualize it or imagine it or anything that you can do. Be on your deathbed, have any disease that you choose, which you won't be able to at that time, but you can choose it now. And then, think for a moment whether at that time you're satisfied with what your life has been. Do you feel, as you know it now, up to now, that your life is fulfilled, that you have used the time you had from birth to death to the best advantage? That's our first consideration. Now, if you feel you haven't, would you like to change that as of now? Would you like to make different commitments? What do you think would give you a feeling of fulfillment at the time of your death? What should your life contain to give you that feeling? If you think that there isn't enough of that in your life, of that which would bring you fulfillment, would you like to start, as of now, to bring that into your life? Is it love? Is it helpfulness? Is it caring? Is it meditation? Is it a goal? Whatever it is, that you feel needs to be reinforced, would you like to start reinforcing it now? And for a moment, imagine that death is imminent. Are you hoping that it will be a long time still? Or are you aware of the fact that it can happen any moment? And if you become aware of the fact that it could happen any moment, what's your reaction? Do you feel that isn't fair? It shouldn't happen? You'd like to postpone it? Feel cheated? Get angry about it? What's the reaction? Or do you realize Death always comes when the life continuum is finished. Do you see death, your own death, 
as a threat to you or as a transition. And if you see it as a threat, ask yourself why. Because you haven't finished what you're doing? Or because it's eliminating the person you're most concerned with? Or because you think the world ends when you end. Why are you threatened by it? And can you realize that feeling threatened by it and the fear of it imbues everything that you think and do. Would you like to live without fear, without anxiety, without feeling threatened, without worry? If so, you have to live with your dead. Can you try as of now to incorporate the knowledge of your own death into your daily living so that all you think and all you do has that as part of its motivation Can you imagine that death awaits you today? How do you feel about it? When it comes, it's always today. Do you realize how you feel about that? I now think of your loved ones. Are you bound and determined that they should survive you? They should not die before you? And can you feel the anxiety that that produces? Can you try and look at things the way they are instead of trying to make them happen the way you'd like them to happen?
Nothing gives rise to anxiety more than wanting things to happen the way one wants them to. They do not do that. Death is not a tragedy. It's a natural law. Can you see that? Can you see that the kind of death that we are having or going to have is entirely dependent upon the kind of life we live? And can you see that the kind of life we live is dependent upon how clearly we see our own death? Again, what do you think is most important so that when death comes, you feel at ease about it? You can practice not rejecting the body's difficulties and inabilities while still alive. Accepting things as they are. Being at ease. Cherishing each moment that is left to us to practice. Being grateful for each moment, but not imagining that each moment is due to us. Cherish each moment, be grateful for it, but don't think that we ought to have them. See yourself again on your deathbed and have a look inside of yourself what emotions, what feelings are most important so that you have a calm, peaceful transition and practice those now. May people everywhere not be afraid of their own and their loved ones' death.